ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبد الله ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه ونصح الامه وكشف الله به الغمه وتركنا على المحجه البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها الا هالك فصلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى اله الطيبين الطاهرين واصحابه الغر الميامين والتابعين ومن تبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين قال تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون اما بعد ايها المسلمون فان اصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الحديث محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ايها المسلمون اوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل فقال تعالى ولقد وصينا الذين اوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم واياكم ان تتقوا الله after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending a great deal of blessings and salutations upon the last and final messenger Muhammad sallallahu wa sallamuhu alayhi we commence my dear brothers and sisters i advise myself and you to fear Allah azza wa jalla we started this month of ramadan by reminding ourselves about the ayah of Allah azza wa jalla in the quran in regards to fasting in which Allah he says ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun we start this month with taqwa with the objective of objective of taqwa and wallahi we end this month with the objective of taqwa for whoever has achieved taqwa in this month then he is successful in this dunya and he is successful in the akhirah the brothers and sisters in islam ponder for, for a second ponder for a moment that this last jumu'a of this month of ramadan this may be the last jumu'a of ramadan that we get this may be our last ramadan for wallahi none of us here know not me not you whether we will achieve another ramadan this could this could be the last ramadan that we are in this could be our last jumu'a in ramadan that the tarawih that we pray could be our last the days that we fast could be our last we may not be given this opportunity again the charity that we have given may be our last the time that we spent with our family breaking iftar doing suhoor this may be our last this may be your last ramadan but dear brothers and sisters I remind you of the favors of Allah Azza wa Jalla upon you. The favors of Allah Azza wa Jalla in this month of Ramadan and outside the month of Ramadan. He gave us all the ability to fast the days and to pray the nights and he gave us opportunities where he forgave us. He gave us opportunities of reward. He gave us an opportunity in this very month, the night of Qadr, and if it has passed we Allah we ask Allah Azza wa Jalla to accept it. and if it is still to come we ask allah azza wa jalla to allow us to reach it and we ask allah azza wa jalla to allow us to pray and to do good deeds on that night but the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said man hurima ha faqad hurim whoever is deprived meaning deprived of laylatul qadr and its goodness then that person is indeed deprived al khayra kulla in another narration, narration the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said Laylatul Qadr my dear brothers and sisters and these nights and these days of Ramadan these are opportunities that no other ummah were given before us they are a mercy from the mercies of Allah azza wa jalla they are an opportunity for us to excel to such an extent that we draw closer to Allah azza wa jalla to such an extent that our scales become so heavy because it is an opportunity that was not given to any ummah that came before us in one night 
we can attain the reward of many, many years, many, many decades in just one night. An opportunity from Allah Azza wa Jal for you and I. Then who can leave out this opportunity? Who will be deprived from this opportunity? Allah's mercy is so great, my dear brothers and sisters, that Allah Azza wa Jal, when He created the creation, He wrote in, he wrote in His book and He wrote on His arsh, Inna rahmati ghalabat ghalabi, that my mercy, it prevails my wrath and my anger. This is the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. My dear brothers and sisters, Wallahi, only a few nights of Ramadan remain. For those who have done well in the beginning of Ramadan, now this is an opportunity for you to exert all your efforts that you can, so that you can end this month even better than it started. And for those who wasted the earlier days of Ramadan, then this is a wake-up call for you. And there is also still a chance for you. A chance for what? A chance that you rectify the mistakes that you made this month of Ramadan and that you end this month of Ramadan well. That you end this month of Ramadan with the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. That you end this month of Ramadan closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. So that Allah has forgiven you and Allah has mercy upon you. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالْخَوَاتِينَ that the actions, the deeds, they are judged by their endings. So if you did not do well in the month of Ramadan, in the beginning of Ramadan, this is your chance now. The few nights, the few days that remain, do well in these, in these days. Hassan al-Basri, he would say that when the race horse, it reaches the end of the race, this is when it exerts all its efforts. In order that he can win that race, we are now at the end of Ramadan. Do not allow the racehorse to be more clever, more smarter than you. Exert all your efforts. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, shadda zara. He would tighten his waist belt in these last moments of Ramadan, the last ten nights of Ramadan. Wa ahya layla. And he would, he would bring his night to, to life with ibadah, with worship, with adhkar, with dua, with the recitation of the Qur'an. And he would wake up his family so that they can benefit from this opportunity. This opportunity is still here for us, my dear brothers and sisters. The righteous predecessors, the Salaf al salih they were so concerned when it came to their actions, even in Ramadan and outside of Ramadan. They were so concerned because they wanted that Allah accept their efforts, accept their deeds. Their concern with was, was with the acceptance of Allah Azza Some would say that had we known that Allah had accepted one deed from us, we would have wished for death. This is what it meant for them. This is what it meant to them. One deed being accepted. Ali bin Abi Talib. Radiallahu anhu will see, he will say that be more concerned with your deed being accepted than you are with the deed it's, it itself. Do you not recall the words of Allah Azza wa Jal in which he says, Indeed Allah Azza wa Jal, he only accepts for the, from those who are righteous, from those who fear him, from those who are conscious of him. Ali bin Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, he would go out on the very last night of Ramadan. He would go into the streets and he would say, Where are those whose Ramadan has been accepted? Oh, wish, oh, oh I wish, how, how I wish I would have known those people whose Ramadan was accepted so that I may congratulate them. And where are those whose Ramadan was not accepted? They were deprived. Why? So I may console them and I may give my condolences. For they have incurred a huge loss. When a person he passes away, what do we say? We give them their we give them condolences. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. This is what he said about the person who wasted his time in the month of Ramadan. My dear brothers and sisters, do not waste these last few moments of Ramadan. Wallahi, they are precious moments. 
do not waste them. What would we what would we say about a man, an entrepreneur, a businessman, who would go out during the day and earn his wealth, and he would come home at night with thousands of pounds, and then he would burn all that money. He would take that money that he earned with his own effort and hard work, and he would light fire to it. What would we say about, about that man? What would we say about the man who spent six months in the gym so that he can become strong and healthy, and at the end of six months he says, I'm going to go back to my normal way. I'm going to stop going to the gym and let my body back to the normal way it was before. What would we say about this man? Allah Azza wa Jal, he reminds you and I about a similar example. Allah says, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّتِي نَفَضَتْ غَزْلَهَا مِنْ بَعْدِ قُوَّةٍ أَنْكَاثَا Do not be like that woman who spends her entire day tightening her thread and at the end of the day she rips it all apart. She tears it all apart. These examples, this example from the Quran and the examples that I gave you is the example of a man or a woman who in the month of Ramadan they are fasting and they are praying and they are reciting the Quran but as soon as the month ends and they enter into Shawwal everything goes to waste. They return to their old ways, their sins, listening to music, doing haram, watching haram, singing haram. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah Azza wa Jal, He has told us that the deeds that we do in this dunya, that the, the deeds that the servant does, they do not come to an end when the month of Ramadan comes to an end or when another month begins. Rather, they continue and they extend until there comes to us certainty. If the fasting of Ramadan comes to an end, then know, my dear brother, my sister, the fasting of the rest of the year they remain. The Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to fast Mondays and Thursdays, the white days, and to fast in the in the, in the month of Shawwal, the six days of Shawwal. They remain. If standing the prayer night, if standing in the prayer at night in the month of Ramadan has ended, then know that the rest of the days remain. If fasting has ended, the rest of the days remain. If the recitation of the Quran in Ramadan has ended, then the rest of the days remain. Keep up the recitation of the Quran, even if it's not as much as Ramadan, even if you cannot pray eight rak'ah, even if you if you cannot recite one full juz, one page a day. Be consistent. For Allah Azza wa Jal, He does not look at the quantity that you produce, rather the quality. Even if it is in a small amount, if you are consistent, Allah Azza wa Jal, He loves that. Do not be like you were before you entered the month of Ramadan. Be a better person. Be a changed person. Let this month of Ramadan be a stepping stone for you, for the better. Draw closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. Do not return to your own ways. For if you want to know the deeds that you did in Ramadan, if they were accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal, then know that after Ramadan you will be a different person. And if you want to know whether your deeds were rejected by Allah Azza wa Jal, then know as soon as the month of Ramadan ends and the shayateen, they are released, you will return to your old ways. They know you have failed in the month of Ramadan. Yes, it is apparent, it is known that we cannot keep up the same energy after Ramadan as we did in Ramadan. But take a few actions. Take Qiyam al Even if it is two rak'ah, ten minutes before Fajr, take it with you. Take it into the next year. Even if it's one page of the recitation of the Qur'an, take it with you. Even if it's fasting one day in the month, on a Monday or a Tuesday, or the white day, or on a Monday or a Thursday, or the white days, then take it with you. For this will make you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. These days of Ramadan, as I mentioned in the beginning, my dear brothers and sisters, they are a training camp for us. 
so that we can better ourselves for the, for the year to come. These days of Ramadan, they train us to have taqwa of Allah Azza wa Jal. Wallahi, for the one who has taqwa in the month of Ramadan and outside of Ramadan, they know that that person is successful in this dunya and he is successful in the akhirah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us about a man. A man who wronged himself his entire life. But when death came to him, he realized and he was regretful. So he called upon his children and he said to them, Oh my children, I am about to leave this dunya. Death is about to approach me. So when death comes to me and when I have passed, then burn my bones, burn my body and crush my bones and take my ashes and spread them, half of them into the land and half of them into the sea. For I fear that when I meet Allah Azza wa Jal, He will punish me, He will punish me a punishment unlike anyone that came before me. So when he passed away, the children, they did exactly what the father said. They burnt his body and they crushed his bones, half of them into the ocean, half of them into the sea. But Allah Azza wa Jal, the most powerful, the most mighty, he commanded everything that was in the ocean and everything that was in the sea to come together. And that, at that very moment, the man who was stood before Allah Azza wa Jal, in the shape and the form he was before he passed away. Allah Azza wa Jal, he said to this man, O oh my servant, subhanAllah, look at the words that Allah is using. Ya ibadi, O oh my servant, what made you do what you did? And he had nothing to respond to Allah Azza wa Jal except khashiyatuka ya Rabbi, O makhafatuka ya Rabbi. The fear of meeting you, ya Allah. I had wronged myself to such an extent there was no hope left for me. And wallahi, Allah says in the Quran, Kul ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala fusum la taqnatu min rahmatim Do not lose ever hope in Allah Azza wa Jal. Never ever lose hope in Allah Azza wa Jal. What he did, this man, was kufr, was disbelief. He lost hope in Allah. He thought that if he was burnt, Allah would not be able to gather him and resurrect him. But Allah, he looked at the khashya, the fear that he had in his heart. So Allah Azza wa Jalla forgave him and he entered him into Jannah. Taqwa, my dear brothers and sisters, is what we need to take away from this month of Ramadan. Allah says, فَلَا مَنْ أَوْفَى بِأَحْدِهِ وَالْتَقَى فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُتَّقِينَ Indeed, Allah, He loves those who are fearing of Him. Allah says, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ مَخْرُجَ وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجَ And any difficulties that we face, Allah Azza wa Jal, He tells us, whoever has taqwa, Allah, He will make a way out for him. If one door is shut in your face, then Allah will open for you hundred other doors. Allah Azza wa Jal, He says, وَيَرْزُقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And He will provide for him from ways and uh, from, from ways that He never expected. وَمَنْ يَدَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ يُسْرًا And whoever has taqwa of Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah, He will make matters easy for him. Allah says, still كَلْ جَلْنَا This is Jannah. التي نورث من عبادنا من كان تقيا which Allah has given an inheritance to those who had taqwa بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بما فيه من الآيات وذكر الحكيم قد قلت ما قلت بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بما فيه من الآيات وذكر الحكيم إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله على إحسانه وشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له تعظيما لشأنه وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله وبعد The last thing I will mention my dear brothers and sisters We bidding farewell to the month of Ramadan Remember that this, in these last few days and nights of Ramadan Seek forgiveness from Allah as much as you can We all know the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Aisha radiallahu anha asked him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ya Rasulullah what should I recite if I find the night of Qadr? 
And he said, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Seek forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. As much as you can and do not allow this month to end until you know that you have been forgiven. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said, Rahi Ma'anf. May that man or woman be humbled and may his nose be rubbed in the dust in humility. Which man? Rajulin Dakhala Alayhi Ramadan Thumman Salaha Fabl and Yufarah. The man who entered the month of Ramadan and he allowed the days and the nights of Ramadan to pass him and he was not forgiven. This month of Ramadan, Allah has made open for you all opportunities for forgiveness. The mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal is descending. And how unfortunate is that man or woman who leaves this month of Ramadan not being forgiven. All good deeds, my dear brothers and sisters, they are concluded with forgiveness. The salah, the hajj, the night prayer, they are all concluded with forgiveness. Seeking forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. The Khalifa Umar bin Abdul Aziz, may Allah have mercy upon him, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala alayhi, wrote a letter to the people of the towns commanding them to conclude the month of Ramadan by seeking forgiveness and paying zakat al fitr. Zakat al fitr, my dear brothers and sisters, we must pay it before Salat al Eid. If you can pay it today, pay it so that we can give the provisions to those who deserve it. Zakat al-Fitr is a kafara for all the errors that you made in the month of Ramadan. Anything that you listened to that you shouldn't have listened to, anything that you said that you shouldn't have said, any mistakes that you made whilst you were fasting, this is a kafara, so you must pay it six pounds. Umar bin Abdul Aziz, he wrote a letter and he said in his letter to the people commanding them, say as, as, say as your father, he said, قَالَ رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And say as Ibrahim said, وَالَّذِي أَطْمَعُ وَالَّذِي أَطْمَعُ إِنْ يَغْفِرَ لِي خَطِيئَةِ يَوْمَ الدِّينَ And say, وَإِلَّا تَغْفِرْ لِي وَتَرْحَمْنِي أَكُمْ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And say as Musa said, قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي ظَلَمْتُ نَفْسِي فَاغْفِرْ لِي And say as Yunus he said, لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين Seek forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal, He says, وَلِتُكَبِّرُ الْعِدَّةِ وَلِتُكْمِلُ الْعِدَّةِ وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Be conscious of Allah Azza wa Jal. When you have completed the days, the period that Allah Azza wa Jal has given you, then glorify Allah. وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهِ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ That He has guided you. وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ And give thanks to Him. هذا وصلوا رحمكم الله على خير البرية وأسك البشرية محمد بن عبد الله صاحب الخوض والشفاعة فقد أمركم الله بأمر بدأ فيه بنفسه وثنى بملائكته المسبحة بقدسه وإياه بكم أيها المؤمنون فقال جل وعلا يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين اللهم انصر دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك وعبادك المؤمنين اللهم فرج هم المهمومين من المسلمين ونفس كرب المكروبين وقد الدين عن المدينين واشف مرضانا ومرض المسلمين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين keep in your du'as those who are sick and those who have passed away we have one of our uncles his mother in law she is extremely unwell make du'a for her one of our other uncles his grandson uh, he, he had his surgery yesterday, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give him strength, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal, he's only a baby, uh, a few months old, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give uh, him strength and to give him siha and afia and to give strength to the parents. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا كلها دقها وجلها أولها وآخرها ظاهرها وباطنها اللهم آتي نفوسنا تقواها وزكيها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم تقبل صيامنا وقيامنا يا رب العالمين اللهم وفقنا لقيام ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا 
اللهم يا حي يا قيوم اللهم يا حي يا قيوم اللهم انصر اخواننا المستضعفين في فلسطين اللهم انصرهم اللهم احفظهم كما تحفظ عبادك الصالحين ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار سبحان ربنا رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين واخر دعوانا ان الحمد لله رب العالمين